it never ceases to amaze me at just how much money companies are willing to waste in the name of employee perks. Perks are great, Josh. We like our perks and our bonuses. We're not talking about those perks, like where you get free lunch every day if you want. We're talking about the perks that you can't really use. You know, the ones where you get side-eyed from your manager if you go use them. Let me show you this post that I found. A few months ago, I came up with this random idea to update the front area of our Chewy building. So this building, by the way, is a giant warehouse. This is it. Also, Chewy, I thought, I like Chewy. I buy stuff from Chewy for my dogs. Like, I didn't think they would fall into the corporate cringe. But anyways, my manager gave me the go ahead and I began researching ideas, talking to people on what would be cool and unique to put in the area while addressing other HR aspects, engagement and retention. This led to the creation of Fun Zone. Fun Zone is an area for our employees to have fun with arcade games, ping pong, basketball, and more, while giving them a place to relax as well with massage chairs. It's crazy that this random idea I had months ago finally came to life. This is why I love working for Chewy, because they encourage creativity and hashtag thinking big. The fun zone. It looks like a McDonald's play place or a Chuck E. Cheese or some other place that you would take your children to to go have fun on their birthday or something like that. What really gets me about this post is the complete lack of awareness. Let me explain what I mean. This is why I love working for Chewy because they encourage creativity and hashtag thinking big. Can someone explain to me what is hashtag thinking big about this room? If you haven't seen this channel, I have like 20 videos on offices just like this. Here, let me show you real quick. In this video from June 6, 2020, this company has a little area with plants and a bean bag they call the chill zone. Here's another one called Google Wannabe Companies Unique and Disruptive, which is just two minutes of companies saying they're different and then doing the exact same thing of every single other company. This is the front room of Bold, right? Here's their arcade games. Notice how they're completely covered in dust. So in my opinion, I just don't see anything here that truly is hashtag thinking big or even creativity. This corner of that facility looks just like every other employee game room that I've ever seen. Now I was really curious, how much money did this room cost for Chewy to make? I looked at everything in this video and I totaled it up. Let's start from the top. The Street Fighter 2 machines, $500. Mortal Kombat 2 is $600. Pac-Man, $600. Nano Leaves, $200. Keep in mind, today is Cyber Monday, by the way. NBA Jam, $550. Marvel Pinball Machine, which is this thing in the back here, $750. Next up, we have massage chairs. They're not in the video, but they say that here while giving them a place to relax with massage chairs. We know there's at least more than one. So I pulled up Amazon. I started looking through massage chairs and it looks like the cheap end of it is like at least 900 bucks. We'll toss on two of those. After that, we have the pop shot. This is the little basketball game in the back, $340. We have the Marvel posters, and there's three of them. One of them's DC, that's probably like 30 bucks. And after that, we have the football thing back here. That's, that's $50. And then we have balloons, so that's $11. After that, we have the NBA Jam seat. NBA Jam seat, $100 for a stool. Then we have um, air hockey and table tennis combo. So this is $443. And then last but not least, we have this fun zone banner in the background. Any of you guys know how much banners cost? I did some basic research and what I came up with was something around $230 to have the words fun zone on the wall. I totaled it all up and I came to $6,432. That's how much this HR person convinced their manager to allow them to business expense. The first thought that I have is, how could you better use this money to benefit your employees? Now it's a warehouse, right? So what about maybe you give it back to them in the form of allowing them to pick some educational training that they want, or you buy them a really nice, coffee maker that produces like Starbucks quality coffee for free for everyone. Just something, do something that benefits the people that work there more than just 15 minutes to be able to play Street Fighter 2 on their break. If you look at the comments, you'll see a bunch of other people that also seem out of touch, which is so crazy to me that they're in this field yet have never seen another company do ping pong or foosball before. I love this. Sounds like y'all have developed an awesome culture there. Video games, massage chairs, ping pong, foosball does not create an awesome culture. Paying people the right amount of money, trusting them to do their job, you know, being nice to each other at work, being reliable, responding with each other, right? That's culture, like right? those things, not here's a video game console that we're gonna put in the corner, which you can use, 
but it better not be a minute over your break. And then we have Chewy responding here. Great work bringing the fun zone to life. It's pack members like you that make hashtag life at Chewy so great. But Chewy, come on, I thought you were better than this. So this is a picture of employees that work at a Chewy warehouse. Can you imagine if the person, this HR person who spent all that money on these video games went up to these people and said, hey, I have $6,500. What do you think I should do with it to make your experience here better? Do you think any of these people would say Street Fighter 2, Mortal Kombat, Ping Pong, Foosball, Marvel posters, a, a little basketball throw again? Do you think any of these people would say that? Because personally, Chewy, I don't think any of these people would vote for any of that. I think these people would probably just want like a, a pay raise instead. Or maybe even a $50 gift card or something. I would use the $50 gift card. I'm not going to use the arcade games and stuff. I'm just going to go sit maybe in the massage chair and look at my phone. And I think that's the most realistic expectation that you'll get out of these other people too. I mean, maybe people will stay after work to play arcade games, but I highly doubt that. I imagine they just want to go home like most people do after their day. Another comment, love that your creative leadership is thriving and being appreciated. Where's the creativity? Here's another company, Bold, right here with a massage chair in the background. Same one with the arcade games in the front. What this makes for is a really expensive PR post for Chewy to make it look like a nice place to work. $6,500 LinkedIn post, right? Look at how much money I spent doing my HR job to try and make our employees be more engaged by buying things that other companies also buy, but we're unique. And hashtag, hashtag thinking, thinking big. big. Feel like a kid again. I don't want to feel like a kid again at work. I want to do my job like the respected, responsible, talented, skilled adult worker that I am. Here's another one. Fantastic leadership on the cutting edge of attracting, retaining, and evolving a company culture into a place employees love to spend their day. I don't know if that's healthy. Maybe while they're working, but like after that, I don't, you shouldn't be getting into their life after work. You're just their employer, right? Leave them alone. Anyways, guys, that's all I got for today. If you enjoyed this video, click subscribe, click like. It actually helps the algorithm more than you think. That's like the number one metric right now. If you'd like to see me take on the corporate world some more, go ahead and click that subscribe button. I know you guys can't because you'll get in trouble from your bosses or probably fired or blacklisted or something like that. Anyways, so I'll do it and send me anything you got. You can email me, grindreel at gmail.com. Link for that is in the description. I have Discord, Instagram, however you want to do it happy to put people on blast because you can't. Having said all that, I hope you guys have a great Monday and I'll see you in the next one.